way of taking my anxiety and bringing it down. But my ex-wife, as much as my ex-wife, I'm just sharing it, I know it's a little personal, but to help you understand, we would feed off each other's anxiety and spiral. You know what I mean? And it doesn't matter how much I loved her. It may be a bad for your soul. The same. And I'm not telling you what to do with your life, but if you know you have anxiety, look at the look at the situations you can get in. You know what I mean? And we're not here to be mean to you or anything. Well, you, you know, they never there's a first time and then it usually I really like this officer with a beard. I think it's a shame that he wasn't uh, the person that was uh, dealing with this. Um, it was the other officer with the body cam that was um, making the call and the shot on this. Because I think the officer with a beard here might have actually arrested Gabby Petito. And had he arrested Gabby Petito, she may still well be alive. She might have a criminal record for domestic assault, but... Um, she might still be alive. She might not have a relationship with Brian Laundry anymore. Which would be no bad thing probably for the pair of them. But the officer calls it right here when he's talking about personal experience. Especially his personal experience with uh, domestic abuse and abusive relationships. He says quite clearly there's a first time. And then things tend to, I think he was thinking escalate. He makes an escalating motion with his hands, but doesn't actually say the word. But that would be very true about domestic violence. There is always a first time. And in my, in my experience, it always escalates. I don't know how these officers are doing. I guess they're thinking to themselves, maybe we should have, we should probably have arrested her. <laughs> uh, I mean, the guys actually called it. They say, you know, it happens the first time and then these things escalate and then we end up with a dead Gabby Petito. Um, that is, of course, not me saying that Brian Laundrie killed Gabby Petito because... Uh, Despite what many of the YouTube channels are putting out, um, there's no evidence. And the police don't have evidence that he killed her either. Unless they're hiding that evidence. Because if they had evidence that he killed her, the arrest warrant would be for homicide, for murder. I want to flip it on its head, this whole situation here. I want to imagine that the call land, let's imagine another scenario. A make believe one, because uh, to be quite honest, most of these YouTube channels are making stuff up. <laughs> uh, so it's all right to do that, I guess. I can do it too. Uh, I'm not saying this is uh, this is factual. This is just um, this is just me looking at a situation from all angles. Let's say the person who called in the report said there's an altercation between a man and a woman in the street, and the woman's slapping the man around, and the police officers stop the couple, split them up, and question them. And they were initially treating the man as the victim, because that's what the call says, a man's being slapped around by a woman. But then they look at Gabby Petito and she's got cuts on her head and she's got a cut and a bruise underneath her eye and she's got nail marks in her arm. And Brian Laundry doesn't have a mark on him. They're going to go, well, hang on, maybe this is this looks more like the, the man slapping the woman around. So imagine if we saw that scenario play out on video. And they didn't make an arrest. And then it turned out. That Brian Laundrie was found dead. 
Well, I imagine many of these YouTube channels would have been going, yeah, she was sticking up for herself. Well done, well done. She wasn't going to take it anymore. She fought back. She ended the violence. I imagine that might be the situation if things were flipped on its head. Anyway, it's absolutely true. What this officer says is always a first time. And it escalates. It's very difficult to get out of a relationship like that if you've ever been in one. But if you are in a relationship like that, My advice would be, pack a bag and leave right now. And don't go back. Thanks very much.